Hi, welcome to the Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff the Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining CO2 Second Chance. If you have watched the other videos, you'll have an idea of how CO2 Second Chance is supposed to be played. Pink and blue. Pink is trying to get to the end of two of these tracks, so it's times two, or have three of these cubes left over, knowledge cubes left over at the end of the game. Blue is trying to get two infrastructure built in the same region and it can be any of the six regions or have 10 money at the end of the game without further ado let's get started we'll start with pink because he has the first player marker the cards that pink has he needs to not worry about those ones at the moment because he can't get to them so he can go for these two which is north america or set up infrastructure on one of these spots that has the cubes other things to bear in mind is if he goes for North America, that will knock that out. But if he goes for North America, he can only go after the trees, the wind, or the recycling. Uh, so it's probably worthwhile going after trees over there. So he might as well start in that location. First up, play a card, which will be that card, the North America card. By playing that card, he gets three money. So if he now builds a proposed structure in North America, that will be great. So he'll do that. Propose a structure in North America. He's going after the woodland one. So he will propose that. And he thinks I'll actually propose it over the center one. So what that does is that gains him one of these guys straight away. He gets a point on the trees for putting that structure in. He can then move one scientist up into that spot, doing some research. And it's probably worth his while to straight away sell one of these CEP. So that pushes that down. And he gets three money for doing that action. He's finished his action. So he'll claim all of his markers back into his spot. And it goes over to blue. The cards blue has, he has three of those proposal project ones and two others we won't worry about for the moment so he can do one in Africa or Asia with that card or he can do one in the middle Africa and Asia are both up here so by him doing stuff in Africa and Asia that will knock those ones out so he will go after the Sun which is in Africa so he'll do that go after that card so he'll put that card down uh, this card also allows him to take one CEP from the market He'll then do the same thing, so building a, or proposing, should I say, one of the sun items into Africa, or he, he might actually take that same, same as the other guy did, so he gets a extra scientist, he'll gain points in the sun, he can then purchase CEP from the market for two money, so he'll spend the two money, to purchase that CEP. He will then send a scientist up to research in the sun area. Because this is now empty, the cost of CEP pushes up one and gets replaced with two. It's now over to Pink's turn. Okay, Pink is going to put in another project. The cards that he has for doing another project is he'll get uh, an extra guy for taking the knowledge the next ones he'll actually get stuff for that type of project so it might be worthwhile going after that uh, even though there's none up here there are some there and there so we can actually use that to our advantage so what he might do is go after that type in South America using that card so he'll play that card goes after that one in South America going over that so he'll get two extra white cubes or knowledge markers, plus he'll get to put one of his markers up on level one, and that gets him an extra scientist. So that's taken now, so he's done that, he's done that. He'll now do this one to move a scientist. So he's actually going to move a scientist from here to here. That gets him one more point in the green, so you get the point as you leave the spot, and he might buy one more CEP from the middle, uh, three money, he buys one and that cost doesn't 
move at all. It only moves up when you refill it. And that is marked there. He's done everything he can do. Back over to Blue. Blue is going to do the infrastructure. So he'll only be able to play that card when he infrastructures on a recycling plant. And note he doesn't have one of them. But what he'll do is, is he will do that. So he pays one CEP, moves the scientist to another spot, and he thinks he'll move him directly over to this area. So this one's looking to knock this one or this one out. That is looking to knock that one out. He's just come off sun, so he could be in one of those two spots. Or he could go to there. There's also a green there. The only thing he don't have is that. Uh, he might actually go to that one. So that pushes him forward one on the sun, because that's where he came from. He then receives the benefits, which is three more of these. And he places an infrastructure tile into that. So you flip that over to show that that's done. Add the infrastructure and that's now waiting to be completed. What he might also do is move a second scientist to a project. So he'll be able to score in that. To get some money, he's going to spend a CEP, which pushes that down and gets him three money. And that's all he can do. That should have been sitting there, I do apologize. That now gets pushed on to number three. In order for Pink to be able to actually build this green, he doesn't have to build green, in fact it's blue's got the scientists on it now. He would need to push forward one more on the green. So he might hold off on that instead doing the blue course is at level one. So what he might do is this turn he'll do that one. So he'll play that card. Now pink is going to build infrastructure. So to do that, he will pay the one CEP. This guy will then be moved and he might move him to there. He gets three money, one more of these, and one CEP. There's the three money. That then gets flipped over, and his tile or marker gets added to it. Okay, he can't do the middle action in terms of purchasing and selling. He's only going to get two, so it's not really worthwhile. So he might hang on to that at the moment, and... Pink has two scientists, so he's gained two extra scientists from there. We, we missed this before, I do apologize, I missed it in the Gatsby Nation as well. Uh, what he can do is push forward two extra spots on any of the levels that he wishes or add on to levels. So what he might do is throw one there and push one forward there. That means that he could now build that green type of building. And blue has gained one extra element. So what he might do is throw one in on here as well. So I step back. I do apologize about that. It's currently blue's turn. In order for blue to turn his orange project into something, he needs 10 money. He's only got five money at the moment. So he actually needs to get five more money. So in this turn, he really needs to make some money. At the beginning of his turn, that got refilled. In order for him to make money, he could play this card and build in Asia, which is there. And if he actually plays in this spot, that would gain him another six money on top of it. So he might do that now. So playing the card, he's going to play this card. He's going to then propose a project in Asia. The project he will propose will be a recycling project and he'll do it just there so he will gain six money for that he'll gain three money for using the card because he's put a project into asia he also gets some knowledge or a knowledge on that type of project he doesn't have any scientists but what he might do is move a scientist from here to here open this one up so that pink can now do what he was going to do with it. That also puts him onto that track. And because CEP are so cheap, we've just double check he's got enough money. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He's got 14 money, so he will spend one of those money to purchase one of the CEP. That's the end of his turn. We now go to the fourth action that each of them can do. In order for pink to turn that 
into some goods he needs nine money so one two three four five six seven which he has currently one cp and one knowledge will get him across the line on that so he's definitely going to do that before he does though he'll play that card so we can see that's what he's going to do he'll go to there to be able to turn this one into a factory so what happens is that moves to there he'll pay for it first so he's paying nine money he'll pay one knowledge marker and he'll pay one CEP that then allows him to get six points and the building for that one so that's complete six points goes up the top he'll also use that to move a scientist into that space he will he doesn't have any money so he can't purchase the one for one and he's already used the card and finish off with he's put a water into South America so he claims that is his and that actually gives him control of that area that also turns that card over or token over because that's the South America there's no water there so we don't get to turn that one over okay it's now blue's turn blue is going to have a look at these cards first just see if there's something that can be helpful okay. so there's no cards there of help to him at the moment but he is going to finish that one off so push that to there which pushes this one up to here and what he's going to do is pay 10 money so that's 10 money one CEP two knowledge and that will get him eight points he adds a building to the top of that so that's completed he now puts his token on Africa puts a cube into the number one both of them were able to do their buildings because they're both at level one on that and these are level one buildings level two buildings come after the second one has been purchased that's level two um, everything below that is also level two he will use that to move a scientist so he moves a scientist from there up to here which pushes him forward one on that track he's going to use one money to purchase a another CEP and he can't claim any of them yet because he only has the one factory all of them need at least the two so that's the end of his turn we'll pull all those markers back we now move on to the income phase okay on the income phase pink is getting one two three and blue we get no points for that anyway but doesn't get to score that because that's above him this one's on the same level as pink so that gets to score for both of them so it's one two three four blue also now i'll just leave that six money off the board because you can take either points or money we then move the cube forward onto the environmental goals we should have flipped over an africa environmental goal and the sun once that one was completed nothing is up to halfway on the knowledge track so all the pink ones stay there and we haven't completed any of these so they stay there as well which means there are 18 in order for this to work he'll spend the three money he'll spend one brings it to there in fact he'll spend all of his money to turn into points so 20 points minus 18 pulls us down to two points we're still alive but only just now we go to the energy supply phase this is where we could get into some trouble so we pick a spot let's go with that one over in asia because there is no completed factory over there we flip one of these over the spot which pushes this forward 30 10 20 30 we go to oceania so flip another one that's another 30 we go to north america which has 20 this one has a plant on it so it doesn't do anything then we go to europe which is a 40 we then take a cep and put it onto there these ones don't need them that cep then goes away it has been used so we're currently sitting at 520 if i spend those last two points that brings me down to 500 which i'm still alive but only just then this market comes back to one that goes to, to the second decade first player market comes across to this side and we continue playing i think you've got an idea of how co2 runs and how to play it if you have any comments or suggestions please write them below if you have any games that you would like to be games playing please shoot me an email at the at gmail.com Follow me on Instagram or Twitter at the Gamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.